What's going on guys? So I am back and it's been over three weeks since I've been on an actual toy hunt. That's crazy, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, we had like, Retro Palooza, Dallas Fan Days. We had the uh, toy show here locally. I went to all of that the thir first three weeks of the month and um, I just needed a little break. But I hope you guys enjoyed all the content from all of that. Uh, stay tuned for a special episode of Attic Invaders, which is me, Ed's Retro Geek Out, and Greco Fabulous. We uh, went to some garage sales while they were down, and we're doing a little special episode for it. So stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, I am at <coughs> Retro Madness. They contacted me, as they usually do, which is amazing. And they got in some grill pieces for Motu, Motu Vintage to be precise. And some of it I really, really need to add to my collection. And they are high price figures as you're about to see. So I brought in some trade-ins because it's not going to be cheap. And since I'm kind of refocusing my collection on Motu, Motu Classics, uh, TMNT, uh, weird knockoffs and you know, all the retro game stuff. Um, this is a great opportunity for me to get right. So let's go inside Retro Madness and check this out. All right, so we have here a complete scare glow. As you can see, you don't see these guys all the time. And if you do, they probably don't have their weapons. So this is definitely a, uh, a mochi grill piece for sure. And I already have them loose, but just to get the weapons in the, in the cave, it's, that's awesome. They got in, got the fright zone right there, and it comes with the uh, the puppet. We got a gray skull, a uh, snake mountain, looks like with a bunch of the uh, accessories as well. But there's some other figures. We got the, the Terracloss Skeletor. The Horde Trooper and uh, the Last Attack. So those are some great, great pieces. And then I saw this up here. <laughs> the Skeleton Warriors Bubble Bath, which is fantastic. And then also, there's a bunch of TMNT accessory, playset pieces, vehicle pieces, all in here. Look at all of that. Tons and tons of pieces all down there. All right, so looking around, they have this sealed Mecho Shark, Street Sharks, which is awesome. You never really see the Street Sharks in box, much less sealed. So very, very crazy find. If I was into them, I would probably, probably do that. All right guys, so I'm back from Retro Madness and I was able to pick out two of the figures that I had my eyes on and that one being a complete freaking scare glow. So got his cape, there's a little stain, but that's okay. And then he has his staff, which is amazing. So I am excited to add this to my collection. I, uh, like I said earlier, I do have him loose, but just to have him complete is a, uh, this is definitely a grill piece for me, for sure. So that is fantastic. The other figure I got is cool, but it doesn't live up to what you just saw, because that's freaking amazing. But I did pick up the vintage Horde Trooper complete. So I got him, I'm adding him in. So. If you're, if you guys are in the area, check out Retro Madness if you're looking for some, some vintage Motu because they just got uh, a lot in. So check them out. Shout out to those guys. But anyway, what we're going to do for the rest of the video, we're going to go back to the Narc layer and I'm actually going to show you all of my vintage Motu that I have out. Now I have quite a bit that's in my garage that, I, uh, you know, honestly, I'm not going to pull it out, but I will show you what I have on display. So let's head back to the Narc layer. All right, guys, so we're back. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything Motu Vintage that I have currently on display. I do have quite a few, probably probably half of what I have is actually in my garage in the boxes. 
and uh, I'm not gonna pull that out. It's too much, too much. So anyway, let's go through some Motu Vintage. All right, so starting off here, we have Buzz Off, and we got the Battle Cat, which I recently finally got a Battle Cat, and I have a few He-Mans. Um, and then I have a bunch of his armor too that I need to get on to my naked He-Mans because I have like three of them. So we got Manny Faces, we got Battle Armored or Battle Damage He-Man, Tila, Mechanic. This guy's just hanging out. Cyclone, having a good time. And then we got Billy Barty himself <laughs> from the Mojo movie, uh, Extendar, Leech. Fisto, and then we have Orko, and I picked up that mode to Jigsaw puzzle in the back, which is freaking awesome. I do want to uh, put it together one day and get it on my wall somewhere, somewhere over here. And then behind that, I have a Master of the Universe activity book. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the Ward and Evil Warrior side. All right, so starting off, we have Mantana. Then we have uh, Stinkor with some random armor on. And then we have Trapjaw. Freaking love Trapjaw. And we got Skeletor and also Faker. And I have another naked Skelly right there with a Merman. And then I have Grizzlor, which I'm looking for the uh, Dark Face Grizzlor. So, if you, if you guys have one, let me know. And I got Mosquito, Battle Damage, Skelly, and I got Clawful, and then uh, Whip Store, Night Stalker, Modulock. And then over here, I have not one, but I have two Castle Grey Skulls. One is in a box, as you can see right there. Freaking love that. Then extending over here, I do have, I just put up this slime pit right here, uh, just to show you guys, but obviously it's not baking in the sun every day. I just put them right there, but just freaking love the, um, all the artwork. It's just freaking amazing. And I got Spy Door in the box. And then I got this He-Man freaking um, wall hanger right there. Skeletor shampoo bottle. And then I have a bunch of my classics and mythics in that case, which I've already shown off before. What I'm wanting to do here is actually gonna, we're gonna get to the good stuff here in a second, but I'm gonna redo this whole entire shelf. It's gonna be nothing but vintage mochi. But the cream of the crop here, I picked up this complete scare glue. I had this scare glue. I got that guy at the toy department in Ohio. So shout out to those guys. And then the Horde Trooper. So I got them in here just for now, just to protect these guys. I know the Horde Trooper is not like super rare or super valuable, but I just, I need more room. So like I said, I'm gonna probably move these guys out and move my Motu in. And maybe some turtle action too. We shall see. But guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you for coming along, checking out some of my Motu and going to Retro Madness with me. It was a lot of fun. Good luck out there, have a good hunt, and I will see you soon. Peace.